Hey guys, welcome back to Phantom Strategies. Uh, so in this video, I wanted to kind of do a follow up from my previous video on Litecoin. The reason I wanted to do a separate video on Bitcoin is, is it's it's pretty important that I do this separate video. So uh, I just want to make sure that I'm uh, getting my point across on Bitcoin in this video from what I'm seeing and what I'm trying to like, you know, um, I'm trying to analyze as far as the price action in Bitcoin and why it's holding up so strong and the altcoins are not moving as much as you have might have seen in past when Bitcoin start moving all right uh, so that's the reason I want to do this separate video on Bitcoin um, and keep the Litecoin video separately um, so hopefully you can just um, watch this video and uh, try to understand um, the logic behind what is the reason that Bitcoin price actions uh, is much stronger okay uh, so before we get started if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel I post new content every day hit those notification icons so you get this videos right away um, and if you think this content is helping you with your investing with your trading in cryptocurrency then please give me a thumbs up that gives me more motivation uh, to put in the hours to make this content for you every day um, and like you know giving back to the community to giving back to the phantom community as much I can all right so uh, please do me that favor as well um, let's get into Bitcoin price action so we are looking at Bitcoin eight hour chart right now uh, the data is coming from coinbase so we have been following uh, Bitcoin quite, from quite a while now um, like a couple of days a couple of weeks ago uh, right around um, right around I think it was February the 10th we made that call that you know Bitcoin is gonna go to 10,000 uh, we hit that 10,000 mark and then we made another call that Bitcoin is gonna go to 11,000 and that exactly it touched at 11,000 we saw some retracement and then I made another video that we might see some more push into the resistance zone which is from 11,000 to 12,000 so 11,000 to 12,000 is a critical zone that is the zone where we saw a lot of price action a lot of like you know uh, you know push and pull action uh, back in early January when we had the initial drop if we try to bounce back we came down we try to bounce back we came back so that's a very busy zone 11,000 to 20, uh, 11 sorry 10,000 um, 11,000 to 12,000 that's a very busy zone because there is a lot of like price action that took place a lot of volume that uh, that you know the trading a lot of trading took place basically in that that zone all right so we're coming right at that zone and the f a couple of things that I'm seeing right now is um, one thing I have been noticing in Bitcoin um, and I want to point that out that every time we had a uh, pull back every time we had a retracement there is a volume constant volume that is coming into Bitcoin and which is kind of a little bit odd because every time when we have this kind of run up and we have a retracement it takes a while before the new volume comes into the market that really tells me that a lot of new money coming into Bitcoin and it's, it's, it's not new money just the retail traders uh, it's the new institutional trader in my opinion that are coming to the Bitcoin market the reason I'm saying a lot of like big um, it cannot it, it can be small hedge funds too it doesn't have to be like big institutional trader it have to be small hedge funds you know uh, around the world that might be getting into Bitcoin so it doesn't have to but what I'm seeing is every pullback we are seeing in the Bitcoin price action is getting bought into which is very strong which is like it has a very strong indication and, and it's getting bought with heavy volume so if you see that like you know that um, the volume that's a 50 day moving average for the volume uh, the orange line in the bottom and the volume is not declining usually when you think you know there is a top that's coming up it's usually you know you will start seeing that volume kind of you know it, it goes down a little bit but what I'm seeing is every time that we have a retracement in the price action in Bitcoin there is more volume that's coming in and people are buying the price action uh, every any any dip we're getting we people are buying into it any dip we're getting people are buying into it so who is buying into this thing it cannot be the retail investors who are buying into these things it is it, they don't have that much like capacity to buy so I'm really thinking there is a lot of smart money a lot of like you know um, 
investors like you know um, uh, small hedge funds maybe who are like getting into they're looking at the picture right now and they're thinking hey there is a potential for bitcoin to go in further up so they are the people they they might be the people who are getting into it into bitcoin a uh, second thing that i have noticed if you go to coin market cap um let me just load this up a little bit it's taking a while all right so this one this graph right here is the uh, percentage of total market cap and dominance okay so um, this usually you know gives you a pretty good indication on the under dominance so we usually um, we have been sitting at like 34 35 percent Bitcoin dominance even when we were sitting at the low point um, so if, if I come back to this chart right here uh, where that yeah so this is the dominance so if let's look at three months for uh, dominance by percentage so I'm comparing what I'm comparing is this big three you the first one right here the orange one that's Bitcoin um, the second one the kind of bluish one is um, ethereum and the last one is uh, Litecoin okay so what I'm seeing in Bitcoin if you uh, if you notice in Bitcoin like in since like um, uh, in January, uh, February the first, we had this initial spike up when the market, the whole mark, market, uh, tanked. A lot of people who were stuck in uh, altcoins, they got out of it and they put their money into Bitcoin. Uh, same thing, you know, the, the people who got stuck in altcoin, they put their money into Bitcoin. But what what is going on right now is Bitcoin is moving gradually in a higher market dominance pattern and it's not a spike it's not a typical spike that we are seeing up here it's not a typical spike that it goes up and come right down it's gradually 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 going up when you see a gradual go up that is that's a trend of usually people who are you know, smart money who are coming into the market people who are uh, you know uh, you know like professional investors uh, like uh, hedge funds small like uh, small institution investors like people who are buying cost Cautiously on the dips so that's the trend that I'm seeing in Bitcoin because and I'm on the on the vice versa I'm not seeing Bitcoin is going up but I'm not seeing any you know uh, price action in like other altcoins like ethereum Litecoin had a, a, a leg up I, I saw that there was a positive news in Litecoin um, but other like you know other altcoins are not moving in the same way that we have seen them in last few months when they were moving up so if you remember back in December when the Bitcoin like bounced a dominance started falling a dominance started falling this is the indication when a lot of like dumb money that is coming into the market and they are trying to uh, they are trying to buy the altcoins no thinking that it will be their next like lottery ticket and they are nothing but speculative coin they you might get lucky on them you might make money on them but again you don't want to have majority of your portfolio in one of those coins because they are very speculative in nature you are you, you don't want your portfolio to be dependable on those pro, uh, price action like for example like you you know um, you don't want to get stuck into a couple of coins that might some old coins that might be like trading in pennies but they don't move for better half of 2018 so you want to make sure that you're diversifying your portfolio well enough so it's not getting stuck in one direction or it's not getting stale uh, for a good part of 2018 you want to make sure you are like set your portfolio is set correctly all right so what I'm seeing here in Bitcoin is like the dominance is keep on going up and it's it's not spiking up so that spike up usually mean like you know I, I don't like the spikes up because those spikes up usually come down every spike up we get they usually come down so when you see a gradual move up that's in my opinion that's an indication of more professional money that is coming into the market and you know you you're not seeing that same thing in the altcoins because when they when the professional money come into the market they're not going to trade um they're they're not going to trade like you know ethereum they're not going to trade litecoin they're not going to trade uh, i mean they will be tra uh, don't get me i let, let me rephrase that so it's more they will be buying some of this altcoins the more proven one like uh by ethereum by litecoin ripple i mean they will get those things but majority of their portfolio will be sitting in a coin like Bitcoin because it's already proven it's already have their market dominance it's already have the name for it so when they get in they will be getting into Bitcoin predominantly okay and that's what's going on and that's like I'm seeing this gradual move up in the dominance of Bitcoin usually what have happened in the past when the Bitcoin price start to move up 
you know, uh, the people, uh, the altcoins, like, you know, they move with it, but that's not happening. Right now, it's just the Bitcoin, uh, you know, their dominance is keep on, is uh, from 35% to all, uh, right now, it's around 38%. But, uh, you know, Ethereum is not moving, uh, Litecoin moved, and other, some of the other altcoin haven't moved much compared to, like, you know, the strong price action in Bitcoin, okay? So that's a, that's a, that's a definitely a positive thing for Bitcoin um, in long run. So in long run, I'm very optimistic in uh, Bitcoin price action. I think we are very, uh, this is all good sign. But again, just because something is showing a good sign doesn't mean that it will like, you know, it's it will, will it will be like you know we're gonna see that fifty thousand more by year end or it is there is no guarantee there there are no guarantee in life how you think there are guarantee in this speculative market so please have your expectation um, correct please make sure you have realistic expectation because we want to trade on probabilities we want to make sure we trade with our um, you know with protecting our portfolio because we don't want to just blindly buy every price strong price action because right now we know that this is a resistance zone so we want to make sure we get into those habits that we are protecting our portfolio we are protecting our investment so we know that this is a resistance zone we are coming up against a very major uh, trend line that is coming all the way if I go back to the daily chart so if I go back to the daily chart, we're coming up against this major resistance that's coming all the way down from 20,000 high where we had. So that resistance is going to have significant impact on the Bitcoin price action, including the all this choppiness that happened in that 11,000 to 12,000 zone. So there is there, so what that tells you, you need to start putting your stop losses. You, you need to start tightening up those stop losses you you don't want to be one of those guys who is not you know just going blindly in the market because that's when you get into trouble okay so you want to having i always 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 emphasize on risk management because if you do not do your risk management properly it doesn't matter if your coin goes up 50 percent because you still have to make a lot of room to you know cover your losses so for example let's say if you have a coin i i'm i, I have brought this example before but i want to bring it to the new user who new viewers to the community new subscribers to the community let's say if there's a coin that is trade uh, you bought it at uh, one dollar okay uh, for instance, you bought a coin that is one dollar, and now it's sitting at fifty cents right now. Okay, in order, and you did not have any stop loss. You did not sell it. You 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 were like you know drinking that Kool Aid of holding it for dear life. H O D L, whatever that is. Uh, it's it's an insane like stupid thing like people have some acronyms and like so if you are holding those coin even for 50 percent loss you think you have 50 percent loss but you can record that loss but the reality is for that coin to go from 50 percent uh, 50 cents that is sitting at right now to one dollar to your break even point it has to move up 100 percent because from 50 cents to one dollar that's a 100 percent move up that your coin have to do and if in order and that is very it happens but it takes a lot of time in like in the stock market it happens very rarely because it like it happens it it, it doesn't happen that often if you look, look on the probability side on the like if you have to like you know uh, if you just have to like the the odds are simply speaking odds are not in your favor when you hold a coin that is have that is lost 50 percent of the value because you have to come up that coin has to go 100 percent it can go in crypto market i have i have seen it it can but the probabilities are low and like you know the odds are low so we want to make sure we are stacking the odds are in our favor that's the name of the game you want to stack the odds in your favor nobody knows about this you know you what when we're trying to read this graph when you're trying to read this analyze this chart all you are trying to do all i'm trying to do here is stacking the odds in our favor that's all we are trying to stack the odds in our favor and that's how we come ahead as i told you plenty of time i do not have any magic ball you what you are just trying to do is 
if we are stacking the odds in our favor all right and you're analyzing the market and making sure you're stacking the odds in your favor so that's what we're trying to do so do not hold on to those you know losing position when when you have like you know that 50 percent loss will be if you're down 50 percent you will have to go up 100 that coin has to go up 100 percent in order to make break even so a lot of time you know people get very greedy and they're like oh my god this is gonna go up i'm gonna keep it and it might well be okay sometimes it will go up out of like 10 maybe two three times it will go up but that when it does not go up that eight times or seven eight times you will be regretting that because you will be sitting in loss your portfolio will be in loss for majority of the year and you and you will miss those opportunities where you will be making money so that's why i'm always saying do a proper risk management if you do a proper risk management on your trade if you do uh, on your portfolio if you, you protect your portfolio you will always come ahead you don't have to be you don't have to be like you know you don't have to be a genius to do those things you don't have to pick uh, you all you have to do is like you know manage those downside risk and when once you do those things you're you know you, you, even if you pick the crappy coin that moves up 20 30 percent in the crypto world that's not a lot but still you're ahead 20 30 20 30 percent compared to a lot of people who are who holding their uh, quote unquote their HO, HOS ld whatever the, that is hold holding for dear life and they're down 50 percent their coin move up 50 percent but still they have to go another 50 percent to just to break even compared to you who have done your trade management you who have done your risk management and you're already up 30 percent and the, the guy who did not do that he still have to make up 50 percent additional 50 percent to make up uh, just to come to break even point so, uh, you know, <laughs> rewind this, what I have just said, and listen to that thing again. If you have a question on that, post it in the comment. You know, I will be more than happy to explain you those things, all right? Um, but you want to make sure that you do those things. That's how, that's how you are really setting yourself up, up for success. Don't, uh, don't get into that FOMO or fear of missing out. Can Bitcoin frog, can go up to, uh, you know, 13,000 without taking a blink? absolutely absolutely it can do i know that is going to happen no i don't do i think i is going to happen i don't know anything can happen i don't again i don't have the magic ball it can go up to fourteen thousand tomorrow without blinking but what you can do is if, if you setting those stop losses and if you're doing your proper management of your risk management you will always come ahead I don't know if it's going to retrace back. The probability is hard high, that's for sure. But it can definitely go to 13,000 without taking a blink. It, it might overnight it will just break into this resistance and it can go up to 14,000, go up to 15,000. Do I know that? I, I don't know that, but it can. But it, it is a probability, but it's a very small probability. The prob higher probability right here is that it will retrace. But so again, the, you, we want to, it's, it's all number games. It's all number games, okay? So, and you have to analyze the whole thing, okay? Just, so keep that in mind. I hope I, uh, you know, I, I, that's, this is the reason I wanted to make a separate video on Bitcoin um, because I wanted to explain the psychology of the market at the same time this is this is a major like this is the our, our queen bee so we, I want to make sure our queen bee get a lot of attention all right um, for the futures always looking at the you know global market you wanna that's one thing I always like emphasize a lot on um, let's look it up real quick so I'm seeing a little bit weakness in the future. It's not major weakness. Like it's the Indies, uh, the Nikki is going to open up. That's the Japanese stock market. That's going to open up in a little bit. Uh, so nothing, nothing major that I'm seeing right now. Let's see how the overnight session holds up. The price action is very strong in Bitcoin right now. Any, if I go to the like smaller time frame, let's go to the one hour time frame. You see those volume coming up. <sighs> let's let's just look this up you see this volume coming up that's that's the indication of any dip that's coming in people are buying in 
and people who can afford buying those things have deep pockets. It's not going to be retail investors who are coming in buying fraction of Bitcoin, throwing in four, five thousand, ten thousand, maybe one Bitcoin here and there. This is big money coming in. So those are some good positive price action on the Bitcoin. But again, we we are in that resistance zone. So we we want to get into the mindset that hey, this is a resistance zone, a resistant on the probability. The odds are. Uh, the odds are like you know in the favor that it might you know have a retracement but again anything can happen on the market no one knows it, it can as I told you it can definitely go past this overnight going through this resistance like uh, you know a hot knife going through the butter it can do that it, 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 it I have seen it have happened in the past but again we trade on probabilities, all right? So I, I, I'm going to sound like a broken record. I don't care. Um, but as long as you get the point across, I, 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 I'm going to keep I'm going to keep on saying that thing until, you know, everyone on this channel absolutely, absolutely, absolutely get that point, all right? Um, so that's pretty much it. Let's look at the, like, you know, another thing I want to show you is, like, S, uh, the S&P 500. So S&P 500, you know, the um, market that's going to open up tomorrow. We are coming up, if I look at the daily Okay, so if, if I look at the daily for S&P 500, um, it's coming up against major, major resist, major resistance, which is um, it's going to have some kind of pullback. It's, uh, it's, it's not going to be, if it doesn't, then it's, that's a very bullish thing. If it does not have that pullback uh, from the 20% um, uh, moving areas, then it's a very strong, strong indication. And a lot of time, what it does, like, you know, in stock market, even in the crypto market, it have a fake out, which is like just go up a little bit and then come down. So that's it happens a lot. I have seen that a lot. Okay, um, I don't have enough time to cover Ethereum right now in this video. I'm gonna make another video and turn separately. Um, maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow morning, but I will come to Ethereum. Um, I wanted to. I I'm also looking at Ethereum Classic. It has run a lot, um, so I I will cover Ethereum Classic in that next video as well, all right? Um, so that's all, guys. So if you think this was helpful, if you think you learned something today, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit those notification icon so you get this content right away. Um, so, uh, and let me know if you have any questions, all right? And uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.